Hey everybody, welcome back to my shop. Today, we're going to be building a simple but elegant oak bowl. Here we go. So to get started, uh, we need a few simple ingredients for the whole recipe. Uh, you're going to need an oak blank, of course. Uh, for this oak blank, the way I'm going to finish it, I'm going to go ahead and make a, a friction polish. Uh, that's a three-part combo that you're going to have to mix up. So I've got a mixing cup here. I've got some clear shellac. I've got some boiled linseed oil. I've got uh, some denatured alcohol. We're going to go ahead and combine all that, put it in this plastic bottle. You're going to need a drill, a tape measure, a compass, a lathe, and I'm going to cut my blank round on the bandsaw. The way my circle uh, jig is going to work over at the bandsaw is I've got my compass set. Uh, to the widest point of this blank on all uh, four ends. So that's about right there. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just lightly trace out a circle. Uh, the bandsaw is going to do the rest for me. So we'll go do that, like that. And then you're going to want to take your tape measure. You're going to want to measure the distance between uh, this half and this half. Uh, record that number. I'm at uh, 4 and uh, 9 sixteenths. So that's the distance. You're going to set this piece away from the bandsaw there. And then you're going to want to go ahead take your uh, drill and drill out the center. Alright, so now that we've got uh, our hole drilled out, I've got a little peg here uh, that matches this hole. Uh, remember my blank. So I've got uh, four and nine sixteenths away, so I centered that with the front of the blade there. And this corresponding hole is gonna sit in there. So when I go ahead and place this piece on top, go ahead and find it, we'll be able to turn that on the bandsaw and we'll get a perfect circle every time. Sweet, all right guys, so we've got the blank uh, now attached to the lathe. I use that same uh, screw, or not screw hole, uh, hole that I drilled out uh, to get this rounded over at the bandsaw to get it attached to my lathe. I'm using the, the one-way talon chuck and a worm screw. So I just screwed it on. I made sure that this face was completely fat, flat and uh, seated to my jaws. So now we'll be able to go ahead, grab my bowl gouge and get this turned out. All right, so we've got my uh, Hurricane 5 8 bowl gouge. We'll go ahead. I'm going to start uh, facing up the side. Sweet. All right, guys. So I've gone. I've shaped up the bowl. Uh, I just gave it kind of a slight uh, dip here. This is going to be the bottom. It's pretty flat up here. Uh, just really simple, elegant. It'll be a great little peanut bowl, I guess, when I get done with it. So, uh, or I mean, put your car keys, put your cell phone in it when you get home, uh, whatever. So let me go ahead. Uh, I'm going to grab some sandpaper. You know how that goes. Touch it to your work. When you like how smooth it is, uh, you're done. Let me go ahead, get that paper, get this shined up. I'm going to show you guys how to mix up some friction polish. And we will be able to reverse, mount this with the recess, and get the inside hollowed out. That's always fun. All right, so be back with you guys after I'm done sanding. Sweet. All right, guys, so we've got the bowl sanded to 400 grit. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, mix up our friction polish. Here we go. So we're going to start with, 
Uh, let's go with the schlack. That's going to be the hardest to pour. So we'll go ahead. Well, I'll just do equal parts. Actually, I'm going to just do two thirds, two thirds, two thirds. I think that'll be perfect. So we've got that. We've got two thirds schlack. Go ahead, pour that in the bottle. This can get messy, guys. So I've got my uh, <laughs> tabletop or <laughs> whatever you're using covered. I'm using my table saw. Now we're going to the denatured alcohol. I'm going to pour the same amount in there, two thirds. I don't want to mix too much up. Cool. That's about right. Pour that into the bottle. Cool. And I figure, uh, I mean, just thinking about it, while we're mixing this, uh, the only thing that can evaporate is the denatured alcohol, so I guess I'd recommend uh, whenever you mix up a batch of this stuff, go ahead, take a permanent marker. Let me actually get my marker handy. And I'm going to actually mark the fill line, so if anything is below that line when I finished using the product, I'll know to fill it back up with the alcohol because that's probably the alcohol evaporating. So there we go, we've got another two-thirds of the boiled linseed oil. We'll go mix that into our cocktail here. Just like that. Close that up. Cool. Give it a good squirt. Cool. That should be it. Guys, that's our polishing compound. Let's go ahead, let's get some of this on a paper towel. Let's apply it to our bowl and see what it looks like. Our polish, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take blue shop rag, we're gonna go ahead, apply some to our rag, just like so. Close that back up. We'll bring this up to speed, and then we'll go ahead and apply our first coat. Cool. Sweet, all right guys, we've got a new edge on my 5 ace bowl gouge. We've got the blank flipped. We're ready to hollow out the inside. Uh, I've already set the depth of what I want it to go. So now I've got my tool rest set to half. I'm gonna go ahead, let's get the inside of this bad boy carved out. Woo, let me grab my safety glasses, my safety gear, and we'll kick this bad boy on. thing left to do now let's get the inside of this bad boy sanded up all right guys so we've got it sanded down to 400 now it's time for some friction polish so you see how it kind of has already settled so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good shake I don't know what's funner applying the friction polish 
and watching this thing come to life or turning the bolt. I'm still trying to figure that one out. I'm really excited I did this today, guys, and you guys should try it at home. Really easy recipe. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab a rag. We'll get this thing shined up. That's the inside, that's the outside, I added a little design feature there. Guys, this uh, video, I think it was more about the friction polish than the uh, elegant oak bowl. I love the fi friction polish, I think I'm addicted to it, I'm going to be using it on uh, the next couple turnings coming up, so I found it really amazing. Guys, there's the bowl, she sits flat, if you like this video, be sure, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Tell your mother, tell your father, tell your brothers, tell everybody in your family. Go ahead, hit that button. I really do appreciate it. Thank you.